The ruby red slippers have been found. After being stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids 13 years ago, authorities have located the famous slippers worn in the Wizard of Oz. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Now, under the rainbow. Dorothy's ruby red slippers have finally been found. Everybody loves the ruby slippers because it gives you a lease on life. Dreams do come true. There's no place like home. The slippers are in possession of the Federal Bureau of Investigation after disappearing 13 years ago in the middle of the night. A thief smashed a plexiglass case resting in the gallery at the Judy Garland Museum and escaped with the slippers. No fingerprints were left behind. The burglar or burglars were in and out in a matter of no time. Um, the alarm did not, was not activated. Uh, it wasn't until the next morning when the museum had discovered the actual break in, in the theft of the ruby red slippers. The slippers were one of four known pairs worn by Judy Garland in the 1939 film. One of the other pairs is currently in the Smithsonian Museum. I'll get you, my pretty. The break in the case came last summer when the Grand Rapids Police Department received a tip which led investigators to look outside the state of Minnesota, leading to the FBI getting involved. Working very collaboratively with our local partners in Grand Rapids, we received a new tip and some information that we diligently pursued. Lots of interviews, several searches, only to later lead this summer to the recovery of these slippers. After locating the slippers in Minneapolis, investigators were able to match a single sequence that was left behind during the theft to the slippers, confirming their identity. And there's other identifying marks in the ruby red slippers that were obvious that these were the stolen slippers. Though the slippers have been found, the investigation into who is responsible for the theft is still ongoing. Our hope today is that folks that are watching this, if you know something about the theft, something about where these slippers have been the last 13 years that you come forward and you share that with us. For the people of Grand Rapids, after 13 years, they can now breathe a sigh of relief. We're, uh, we're proud of our police department in Grand Rapids and, and we're proud that, they, proud that they hung in there for those 13 years and kept after it. These shoes do have sentimental value, not only to the citizens of Grand Rapids, but, you know, to the world. You know, they're more than just a pair of shoes, the slippers. They're an enduring symbol of the power of belief. The Judy Garland Museum is glad the slippers are safe and hope to display them in the future. There really is no place like home. Reporting from Grand Rapids, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Anyone with additional information regarding the theft of the ruby slippers is encouraged to contact the FBI. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.